Yo guys, what's up? Chris Lopez here with BeastBrotherhood.com and in today's EP we're going to be covering the best type of exercise for fat loss. Now this is kind of a loaded question. You know, people say, well, how do I exercise for fat loss? Um, it depends. <laughs> uh, but we're going to get into that. Before we actually get and dive into that, I need to say this, your diet must be on point if you want to burn body fat. There's no way around it. You must eat and find a nutrition program that is going to work for you, whether it's, it involves intermittent fasting, or whether it involves eating five meals a day, or whatever it is, if you, whatever you can stick with, figure it out, okay? I like to eat throughout the day, just because I feel better when I do lift, when I eat throughout the day, so even when I'm dieting down, I will do my five or six meals a day, okay? And then do my conditioning and lift accordingly. I have tried intermittent fasting diets, um, they did work well, I burned a ton of body fat, but I feel like I lost a lot of muscle doing them too. So that's just how my body responded. Uh, so I don't necessarily like that method the best. Yes, it works, but I felt really weak when I was doing it. My lifts went down, and I'm not a real big fan of that. So, um, so that's how I do it. But if you don't know how to eat, if you're not sure how to start eating for fat loss, or how to get your nutrition dialed in, or you know, need some basic guidance, check out the two EPs. The one is called Fat Loss 101 and the other is called Carb Cycling 101. They're both in the fat loss uh, execution plan category. So check them out. I'll link them up for you guys too so you have access to them. Uh, but once you get that spread away, now's the time to talk about training. Okay, so there's no right or wrong answer to this, guys, okay? There is only what works and what doesn't, okay? Um, and that's a personal thing. So what works for me may not work for you, and let me explain how this works. So most guys who lift and only do lifting or only do bodybuilding or strength training uh, kind of skimp out or skip the conditioning portion of training. That may not be what you're training for, which is fine. You know, obviously we want to get bigger, we want to get stronger, but when it comes time to, for us to want to get leaner, maybe in the spring or summertime, and uh, start to get that body fat level down, we start doing cardio, right? We start doing some sort of conditioning, whether it's walking on a treadmill or an elliptical or a bike or even doing circuits. I love doing conditioning circuits or strength training circuits for fat loss. That's what I like to do. Um, you know, but whatever your, whatever your, your method is to, to, to burn this extra body fat off, um, for guys like us who lift, or guys like me, uh, possibly you, um, you know, we start to do this condition, these conditioning workouts or these cardio workouts. And why do we do them? Okay? We do them because we suck at them. <laughs> because our body is not efficient at doing cardio or doing conditioning. We love to lift. We want to bench. We want to do squats. We want to do deadlifts. We want to do rows and pull-ups and overhead press. Um, we get really good at these things. Our strength goes up, right? But... The things we are not good at is what's going to tax our bodies the most because we are not good at it. It's, it's a struggle, okay? It's tough. Um, and that's how fat loss works. See, your body is very efficient at getting good at something. It's very efficient at adapting. Your body wants to be in homeostasis. It doesn't want to uh, you know, have curveballs thrown at it all the time. It likes that fastball that it can knock out of the park. And your body gets really used to looking at that fastball that when it gets a curveball, it doesn't know what to do. All right, so lifting is on a fastball. We're good at hitting home runs with, with the lifting portion. When it comes to cardio and conditioning, a lot of times our cardio sucks. And that's the curveball. That's the one we have to really work to hit, okay? Um, so that being said, on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you're a guy that's used to doing fat loss, fat loss circuits or um, cross training circuits or kettlebell work, you know, maybe your answer is high volume squats. Maybe your answer is doing 10 sets of 10 on squats once a week, you know, or maybe upping your, 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 your traditional lifting, heavy weight, um, sets of three, sets of five, you know, or even like I said before, high volume sets. If you're not super good at doing bar work, or you're not super good at doing deadlifts or bar squats or overhead presses, that may be your poison. That may be what's going to kick your metabolism up a notch and make you really work hard to burn that extra body fat off. 
It all depends on what you're doing now. If you're a runner, which I, I doubt there's very many runners that are subscribing, <laughs> subscribing to this website, uh, but if you are a runner, lifting in general might be the poison that you need to help burn that body fat off or help get, lose those love handles. Because not every runner is ripped, let's face it, right? There are guys who see one and they're in great running shape because their body adapts, but they still have kind of, you know, a little cushion in here and, and, and in the front here, a little, little pouch here. Um, you know, lifting might be what takes you to that next level. So the bottom line is that you need to start doing what you're not good at. And for me, it's cardio. For me, I can lift all day. I'll spend two hours lifting weights, but when it comes to doing a, you know, a, a finisher or a 20 on, 10 off, like Tabata type circuit, uh, with kettlebell swings and, and sledgehammer swings and tire flips and whatever, that shit fucking sucks, man. I don't, want, I don't want to spend my half hour doing that, but that's what I need to get done to burn that body fat. So that's the basis of the, the best exercise for fat loss. It's dependent on you. It's dependent on what you're good at and what you're not good at. So start doing things that you're not good at and I guarantee you'll get leaner. But you got to keep one thing in mind that you have to work hard at it. So let's say you're not good at jumping rope. Figure out how to jump rope and make it, you know, jump rope fast. You know, I didn't know how to jump rope until about two years ago uh, until I started doing it every day. Now I can do it pretty well. Um, so jumping rope at a, at, a, at a slow pace is not going to do anything, right? So you have to, you have to adjust and get moderately good at um, these exercises too. Lifting, it's not that hard to get good at. I mean, you don't, even if you're not strong, you know, maybe benching 100 pounds is very tough for you. That's doable. Jumping rope takes a little more coordination. Um, but make, make these exercises tough. You know, make sure that you're taxing yourself. You're out of your comfort zone a little bit. When you're in your comfort zone, results usually drag. You hit plateaus. When you're out of your comfort zone, that's what makes the difference between guys who are lean and guys who are, are stuck. All right, so moral of the execution plan today or the guide, the general guidelines, number one, get that nutrition in check. Number two, figure out a type of exercise that you may not be good at. Uh, and if you like it even better, but if you don't like it, maybe you have to do it anyway. All right. And number three, get to work. And that's it, guys. It's a very, very simple execution plan today. Uh, I'm going to list out below uh, a few things you guys can take a look at. And I will link up the Fat Loss 101 and the, uh, the Carb Cycling 101 Nutrition Program information, as well as... Um, you know, some lifting information and maybe some information on some circuits that you guys can actually put into play uh, to help you guys get to help you guys get leaner right away. All right, so as always, read through all the modules below, guys. Check out the recommended products. I'll throw some uh, some protein shakes and some some uh, some things that might help you get leaner in there that I've used in the past that work pretty well. Um, and then ask your questions in our private Facebook group. Until the next one, guys. I'm out.